Good evening and welcome to my laboratory. Um, what you're looking at there is uh, a couple of bifiler Tesla pancake coils. Uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, demonstrate Sohei Thoth's um, wireless jewel thief, what he calls a wireless jewel thief. And I find this to be a very interesting effect. So what I've done is I've wound two uh, two, two coils. This was the first one that I did. I sandwiched it in between two CD-ROM blanks. This is number 26 stranded wire. Uh, and I brought it out to a little uh, dip header there, all of the wires out so that I could wire it any, <coughs> excuse me, any which way I wanted to. Uh, but with this jumper in here and this plug on here, it's wired as a Tesla by filer. Okay, and so I've got that plumbed into my Jewel Thief test bed on the l l low turn coil side, and then on then this other uh, bifiler coil I wound here. This is with number 27 magnet wire, a whole lot of turns. And the way I did this one was I took a CD and uh, sprayed it with uh, Scotch 77 adhesive and then just very carefully by hand wound the two, uh, two in hand wound on there very flat and stuck it down with, uh, with the adhesive. Took a while to do but it, it worked out and so then I brought it out to a header but I didn't have any more uh, sockets so I just went ahead and soldered some leads onto the header pins there. And this one is wired into my Jewel Thief test bed on the high turn coil side. Okay, so this is the standard 2N2222A Jewel Thief test bed with the switchable 70 nanofarad capacitor in there, and I'm using the 24 uh, LED load bank. This is uh, 12 in parallel in series with another 12 in parallel. Okay and the 1.2 volt nickel metal hydride battery and some scope probes so uh, and uh, and the bar here okay so um, let me just go ahead and put this onto the bar here. and the other one on there too So now we'll turn the switch on and uh, okay in this orientation now <coughs> we've got the normal jewel sorry about the light uh, let's see here there we go we got the normal jewel thief mode selected and the coils facing in this direction so now you can see that the lights are are glowing and as I move the coil closer they get brighter further away they get dimmer and there's like a linear relationship between the distance between the coils and the brightness of the light right. and the oscilloscope display looks like this top trace is the voltage, output voltage, and the bottom trace is the input current. Let me change that time base a little bit. Okay, so like this, like this. Top trace is at 2 volts per division, the bottom trace is at 50 milliamps per division. It's the, the um, current across uh, a 1 ohm resistor. Okay. So that's in the normal Jewel Thief mode, we get that linear uh, fall off with separation distance between the two coils. And if I turn one of the coils around, like that, it works a lot better. And I still get that more or less linear fall off with distance and it stops right there that's about where the lights 
go dim right there. I think we a little mark on there. Right there. Okay, they're still glowing kind of dimly there, I guess. Okay, right about there is where they go out. Okay. Right about there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is switch to the 70 nanofarad capacitor across the base resistor. You can see, boom, the lights come on already. So I have to go quite a bit further out before those lights shut off. And once they turn, sorry, I had the pen cap in my mouth. Once they turn on, then there's not a linear relationship with distance. They stay pretty much the same brightness as I change the distance. And the scope trace looks like this as I change the distance closer, further away. And boom, lights go off. And that's way out here. Okay. So now let's turn this turn this coil around again. Stick it back on there. And lights go out. And no matter how if I now I have to have them very, very close for the lights to come on again in the 70 nanofarad capacitor mode, the enhanced mode. Okay. Actually, I'm surprised they came on at all. So now I've switched back to the normal Jewel Thief mode, and there you have that linear fall off with distance. Lights go out about there. Turn one coil around. Lights come on, of course. And now they go out about there. That's where our first red mark was. Now we switch to the capacitor mode. Lights come on brilliantly again. And once again, there isn't, there's no fall off with distance there. There is some change in the waveform as I do that, but not much until I get way out here, boom, and then they shut off. So that's a good 50% more distance and brighter lights and a better uh, range response there. with that 70 nanofarad capacitor across the base resistor. All right, that's Sohei Thoth's Wireless Jewel Thief uh, enhanced with the 70 nanofarad um, capacitor across the 2N2222 base resistance. Thank you for watching.